Hi guys, welcome back to Island Girl Recipes. Today we're going to be making our Escovitch pickle to go with the Escovitch fish which I did in a previous video and I will link that above. So to start with, let's check the ingredients. So we have some sweet pepper, I'm using a green and a red but you can use any colour you have, onion, scotch bonnet and garlic, pimento seeds, sugar and vinegar, thyme and I do have a piece of crystophene here. Now I'm just using it because I had it in the fridge and it will add a nice texture so you can add it if you choose to, if you don't, no issue. But these are the ones I'm going to be using today. So first of all let's prepare our vegetables. All I'm going to do is slice these fairly thinly, not too chunky though because think about it being on top of the fish, you want it to look nice. So that's the sweet pepper and the onion. I'm also going to chop up the scotch bonnet a little rough because you want a little bit of heat in there. Slice the garlic and peel and slice the crispy. Now that our veg is all chopped up, we're going to prepare the pickling and liquor. So we're going to start off with our vinegar, followed by the sugar, pimento, thyme, scotch bonnet and garlic. We're going to put this on the heat, allow it to boil until the sugar is dissolved, take it off the heat and add the veg. <laughs> boiled up. I'm going to add all the veg into the pan and then we're going to return it back to the heat just for a few minutes just to allow the liquid to kind of soften the veg a little bit and just flavour everything and then we're going to take it off again. So this is all done. I've just topped it up with a little water as well so that when it goes into the jar with the vinegar liquid there's enough to keep all the veg covered and it will just continue to steep and the longer it's kept the more mature it will become. So all that's left for us to do now is using a sterilised jar, a clean jar which has been boiled in water to ensure there's no other bacteria in there. We're going to add all the vegetables followed by the liquid and seal it and label it. So there we have it, Escovitch pickle done. This will keep in the fridge for about four weeks. Just make sure that when you are opening it, you're using a clean fork or spoon so that no bacteria gets in there. And this is ready to be served with your fried fish, maybe some festivals on the side, however you like it. So once again, thank you for joining me guys. As always, please like, share, subscribe and hit the notification button so you can be the first to get these videos when they drop. Until the next time, peace and love. <laughs>